Go. Got it. Okay. We're good. Go. Please listen. Very quickly, remember you've got um, two compartments here, two holes. One of them holds the point, one of them holds the pencil. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a circle. We're going to start with the circle and we're going to make it a 3D globe. Now, you can turn your compass like this or you can turn the paper. For me, it works better to turn the paper. So that's what I'm going to do is to actually turn the paper. Stuff in my way here. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I have a notebook underneath because if I try and do this directly on the table, that little tip slides around. And so I need a um, notebook or even your art folder will work. Eyes up on the screen, please. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, once I have my circle made, is I'm going to just, um, basically I'm going to put a little dot where the point is, or where the point was, excuse me, the little hole. Because that's my reference part. I need that. So once I have that hole made, I'm going to take a protractor and I'm going to draw a line from one side. I have to go through that hole. I have to go from one side to the other, right through that hole. Now what is this line called when it goes from one side to the other? Diameter line. Very good. Okay. So half would be radius, but it's a full length, so it's a diameter. Okay. Now. We need to make a perpendicular line. So I have the little spot right here where the hole was, and I have the line here. Well, on my protractor, I have a hole and a line. So I'm going to line it up, line for line, hole for hole. There's the hole right there. And then I'm going to make a mark at 90 degrees right here. And I'm going to flip it all the way around, do the same thing, make a mark at 90 degrees right here. And then, Protractor or a ruler to draw it across. And that'll give you the 90 degree. Okay? That's the second step. Alright, the last step. Now we need to make this into a 3D globe. So the last thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my compass again and I want to put my point on one end of a line. And then I'm going to stretch the pencil up so it goes three fourths of the way up that line. So there's the point at the end of this line. Pencil goes up three fourths or even a little bit more. And then I'm going to just curve it around so it hits one edge of the circle and the other edge. Do not move your compass. Rotate your paper around to the next line and do the same thing. And then you just keep rotating. And one last time, I'm going to make it again. I'm going to make it again. Okay? And then one last time. And there's my 3D globe. I don't see it. Well, when we, here's what we're going to do. And I don't have an example in front of me, but we're going to do black and a color. We're going to shade it. It'll look even more 3D like it's rounded. But this is the beginning of the 3D globe. You may go ahead and stop recording. Now for you guys, I'm going to do one more. Oh, Please watch.